I'm really excited about this one today, ladies and gentlemen. If you watched my channel, you know last year I reviewed the VIOS, one of my favorite business laptops of 2018. I loved its no-nonsense approach. I loved its array of ports, the legacy ports. That really was a throwback in a sense. It was very refreshing to see all those ports on a really compact, portable laptop. So when VIO hit me up to reveal their new laptop today, I quickly jumped on it. It's an all new premium laptop being released today. It's called the VIO SX14. It's a 14 inch laptop in basically a 13 inch body. It's ruggedized, it comes with a 4K option, and it really is something pretty good. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is the VIO SX14, coming up. Want to see more videos like this? Well, why not hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification icon. This way you'll be alerted every time I post a new video. And don't forget to check me out on my social media, especially Twitter, because that's where I post all the latest updates. This all new VIO SX14 is available starting today in the United States. You can buy it from the VIO website. I'll put all the links below for more information and where you can buy one. It will also be available in the next few days on Amazon and Adorama. Again, once those links become available, I will put it in the show description below. Pricing starts at $12.99. That's for the Core i5 model with a full HD matte display. Now, before we get to the unboxing, here's a quick rundown of the specs. What you're looking at is a 14 inch display. It's an IPS display. There are two options, 4K, which is 3840 by 2160 resolution or full HD 1920 by 1080. My review unit has the full AC resolution. It's a matte display and we'll go over that in just a little bit. It's powered by the Intel eighth generation processors. It's the Whiskey Lake processors, either the Core i5 or the Core i7. My unit has the Core i5-8265U. It's a quad core processor and we'll go over performance in just a little bit. Storage options start at 256 gigabytes up to one terabyte of PCIe NVMe SSD storage. And you can get it with either 8 or 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. It has a 34 watt hour battery and a 45 watt AC power adapter with an additional USB port. So if you want to charge your smartphone, you have that option. And it has a magnesium alloy chassis, thin and light, and really rugged and durable, undergoing a series of tests to endure all kinds of environments, shocks, vibrations, you name it, it's gone through it. It's pretty ruggedized. And it comes in four different colors, silver, brown, this really cool looking all black model, as well as a fire red model that looks really hot in my opinion. But enough with the specs, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Now keep in mind, this is a pre-production unit, so retail packaging will most likely look very different. Now in the box, you get your extension cable and your 45 watt power adapter. It's a barrel pin connector. It also has an extra USB port to charge, say something like your smartphone. That's a nice little touch. Holding the unit for the first time, the first thing that comes to mind, how thin and light this magnesium alloy chassis is. This is a sleek, Really good looking laptop, really something I'm really impressed by. And it reminds me a little bit of the LG Gram 14. It's that thin and light. It's pretty amazing actually. Now when it comes to the ports, you won't be disappointed. On the right side is a full size SD card slot, USB 3.0 type A, USB C port, HDMI, ethernet, and a VGA port. That's not something you see every day. On the left side is your power port, your Kensington lock, two USB type A ports, and 3.5 millimeter headset jack to round it out. Now you can also charge a device via that USB-C port, but unfortunately there's no Thunderbolt 3 support, which is a little bit disappointing. However, this is a business focused laptop first, so I'm not surprised. And when it comes to the display, it's really good. I think VIO did an excellent job. It's a 14 inch full HD IPS display. It's a non-touch display. It's also a matte display, meaning you won't get any glare or any kind of reflections. Great for getting productivity work done. It's got some really deep black, some very vibrant colors. It has a resolution of 1920 by 1080. That's the full HD resolution. It's a 16 by nine aspect ratio. And for those wanting a higher resolution, there is a 4K option as well. Now this full HD resolution is very good very thin bezels by the way looking really good very sleek much like the Dell XPS 13 and it's a pretty bright display coming in at 320 nits so if you compare it to some of its competition it's definitely above average and that's pretty good 
It's bright enough for both indoor and outdoor use. And it covers the color gamut really well at 100% sRGB and 76% Adobe RGB. So for those creative professionals out there that want to use it for Lightroom or for Photoshop or even video editing, this will definitely be a panel you can use. Now the webcam is located on the top of the display. Placement is good. It's a 720p webcam. Unfortunately, it's not Windows Hello compatible, so you won't be able to log in with it. So this is the front facing camera on the Vio SX14 laptop. Uh, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. I think it's okay. Good for Skype, good for video conferencing. Uh, I wanna know what you think about it. Let me know. Now there is a fingerprint scanner for security, so if you want to log in with that using Windows Hello, you can. It worked well, setup was easy, and registered my finger pretty much every time I used it. It worked well. Now when it comes to the keyboard, I'm actually a big fan. It has 1.2 millimeters of key travel. I thought it had good tactile feedback. I didn't feel like my fingers were going to bottom out. They were nicely spaced out, and it was good for long-term typing over extended periods of time. Now it's a multi-stage backlit keyboard, so if you want to do some typing in a dark room or a dimly lit environment, you have that option. And I love the fact that this is also a spill-proof keyboard, especially great when you spill some water or some coffee on it. It's not the end of the world. And just like the Asus ZenBook 14, which I recently reviewed, this has an Ergo lift hinge. When you lift the lid, it raises the keyboard to an excellent typing angle. It also gives you really good ventilation to help cool the system. Now when it comes to the touchpad, it uses precision drivers, which I'm happy with, and it is a bit on the small side, but it is pretty responsive. Two finger scrolling worked well, Windows 10 gestures worked as advertised. I have no real complaints about the touchpad, it worked fine. Now when it comes to performance, you won't be disappointed. This has the Vio Performance. This is an enhancement to an already good processor. This is the Whiskey Lake processor. You can get it in either Core i5 or the Core i7. This is the Core i5 and it's a quad core processor and we've seen this before and it's actually pretty good numbers as you can see from these benchmarks. You can do any kind of productivity work on this, Microsoft Office, web browsing. You could also can consume media without any issues, watching Netflix, watching YouTube, it all worked great. And as far as gaming is concerned, you can do some gaming, but again, this is not a gaming machine. So if you want to play AAA titles on the highest settings, look elsewhere. Now this is a review unit and I didn't want to risk opening up the laptop and damaging anything because this is not mine. I will have to return it to Vio. But you can see from these pictures I did gleam from others who did open it up in Japan. And as you can see, there are some spots you can upgrade. The SSD looks like you can upgrade that. I think the RAM is soldered on so you won't be able to upgrade that of course. And the Wi-Fi card may be upgradable. Now here you can see a fan in there that are, certainly helps with cooling and it really has some good copper heat sinks and that's definitely appreciated for sure and speaking of the thermals under heavy load it did pretty well as you can see the highest was 35.8 Celsius which isn't too bad under my comfort threshold that's for sure so really good cooling system and that's thanks to that bio true performance and that ergo lift hinge no doubt now, even though the SSD is upgradable, you're getting some really good reads and writes with the one they give you. It's again, a PCIe NVMe M.2 SSD. Very good reads and writes, as you can see. So I'm very pleased with that. When it comes to the audio, well, it was okay. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't the best either. I thought it was average, and I thought the speakers weren't the loudest. They could stand to be a little bit louder, I guess, for the next iteration. But overall, I thought it was okay. Nothing special, and really nothing blew me away. But then again, I've heard a lot worse on other laptops. Okay, so let's talk battery life. Now, you know this has a 34 watt hour battery, which is definitely on the small side. However, I was surprised it actually got eight hours and five minutes on the full HD model, the Core i5 model, and it did well. Now, reports out of Japan with the Core i7 model with the 4K, you're gonna get around six hours, maybe a little bit less. But again, I don't have a 4K unit to test, so just take that with for what it is. But that's the reports coming out of Japan. But overall, battery's not bad considering the battery size. The good news is if you do need to charge, it doesn't take too long. It's under two hours with the supplied 45 watt power adapter. It's a slim adapter and also has that extra USB port that we talked about. 
which also allows you to charge other peripherals. But you do have the option to charge it via the USB-C port and you can use power banks as well, so that's maybe an option for you. But if you're going to charge with a USB-C port, it won't be as fast as with the supplied power adapter. Okay, so to wrap things up, can I recommend the all new Vio SX14? And the answer is absolutely really good offering from Vio. Sharp matte full HD display, ruggedized design, really good with that. That ergo lift hinge is super nice, super light and compact, great array of ports, solid performance with very good thermals. And let's not forget a spill proof keyboard. Now there are a few areas where Vio can improve on. Hopefully with the next generation, they will include a Thunderbolt 3 port. There is no touch option as far as the display is concerned. It does have a mediocre webcam, although that's not a deal breaker by any stretch. It's also got a small battery considering the size of the laptop. They could have put, a, I think, a bigger battery in it. it. Does have average sounding speakers and the touchpad is on the small side. There are no real deal breakers here. This is a solid offering for both business users and consumers alike. I'm going to give the all new Vio SX14 a score of 87%, making it worth your money. So what do you think about the all new Vio SX14? I actually really like it. I think it has a lot to offer, not only to business users, but to consumers alike. I like the fact that it has a 14 inch full HD matte display. It's really beautiful. I actually was really impressed with it. It gets bright. It has some really good black, some really vibrant colors. And again, I love that matte option because you don't have the reflections or the high glossy displays. And for business users, they'll definitely appreciate that as you don't get that glare. So I really like that. Now, as far as the performance out of the Whiskey Lake processor, my review unit, of course, has the Core i5-8265U, performed well, eight gigabytes of RAM, no issues. Now, of course, you're not gonna be playing AAA titles on the highest settings. This is not a gaming laptop, but I'm sure you already know that. But you can do a lot with this as far as productivity is concerned, Microsoft Office, web browsing, email, everything you need for the business executive on the go. Now, this is a very durable laptop undergoing a series of tests, environments, waterproofing as far as that keyboard is concerned. So if you spill water or coffee on it, you actually are okay with this. So that, this is some really good features that I think a lot of other laptops should borrow as well. It's not cheap, but neither are most laptops in this category. Look at the ThinkPad line, look at all the other lines that gear towards the businesses, and you'll know they're not gonna come in very cheap. But you're getting good quality product here, you're getting great build construction, you're getting that durability, and you're getting that thin and light chassis that I really do like. So. I'm really happy with this. I think there are no real deal breakers here. Of course, I would have loved to have seen Thunderbolt 3 on it, a little bigger battery on it, but I was actually pleasantly surprised with the fact that that 34 watt hour battery got around eight hours, and that to me was pretty good. Of course, if the next generation has a bigger battery, we probably can eke out even more battery life. So that remains to be seen. It's available starting today in the United States. I will put the link below to the Vio website, and the next few days it should be available in other retailers such as Adorama, Amazon, and others. So I'm looking forward to seeing what you think about it. I'm actually pretty happy with it, and I'm happy Vio reached out to me to present it to you today. Again, I wanna know what you think, let me know. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, on Twitter, Instagram, and of course my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.